What is the activity chooser? To add learning content to a Moodle course page, you use Moodle's activity chooser, which you can access by going to the Turn Editing button on the top right, or by scrolling down and in the administration block clicking the link Turn Editing on, and then in the section where you want to add your learning content, you click Add an activity or resource. This will bring up the activity chooser. If you don't see this link, but instead you see two drop down menus, then the first thing to check is to go to your administration blog to see if you have the link Activity Chooser on or off. If you don't see this, then check with your Moodle administrator about your Moodle version, browser settings, and site admin settings. What we're going to do now is click this link to take a look at the Activity Chooser and what it does. On the left is a list of activities, and if we scroll down, we see that underneath is a list of resources. A resource in Moodle is static content, which students would just read or look at or listen to. So for instance, if you're uploading documents or presentations, you'd use file or folder. To present information directly, you'd use a page, or you can use a URL if you had a link to a website or an online file. Whereas activities require the students to interact with Moodle. They might submit work to you using an assignment, or they might contribute to a forum discussion. The list can also include resources and activities which aren't standard, but which your Moodle admin has added as extras. The Learn Moodle site, for instance, has big blue button for web conferencing, which isn't a standard module, but has been added. In order to find out about what each of these do, if you click the radio button next to it, information then appears on the right, telling you what it is, how to use it, and useful teaching ideas. And if you click the More Help link, that takes you to Moodle documentation with further information. You add an activity or resource by clicking the button and then clicking the Add button at the bottom, or if you don't need to read the information, you can simply click twice on the button and that will take you to the setup screen.